Hi, this is Alessandro from Sonora Cinematic. Today I want to take a quick look at the different cross-fading curves uh, that are available um, in the advanced menu of Poiesa Cello. Please join me. As you probably already know, Poiesa Cello allows you to pick any two articulations and freely cross-fade between them using the mod wheel. However, with 43 different articulations available, it's hard to pick a cross-fading curve that works for any combination of all of them. And it also depends on the kind of sound that you want to uh, achieve, which is why we added an advanced menu, which allows you to select between three different cross-fading curves. The example that I just played uh, before was moving between textural medium and textural sparse. I would say that in general, for the four uh, different textural articulations, which uh, move a lot, uh, the the uh, third crossfading curve, which is what Puyese Cello default set, is my favorite and works in many circumstances. However, another thing that you can do with Puyese Cello is to use it as a regular um, multi-sampled um, cello VST with different dynamic layers. So one thing that you can do is to, for example, to move between a uh, sultasto mezzo piano on A and then uh, to sul tasto forte uh, on, on B and smoothly cross fade between them and see how the second curve instead works better in this circumstance. It's much smoother. And one thing that you'll probably notice is that I'm also constantly using CC11, which I have on the first fader here, uh, to kind of contribute to the smoothness of the, uh, of the cross fading. I would just like to open a small uh, parenthesis about this. Uh, I noticed that many composers uh, like to map CC1 and CC11 as the first and second fader. Instead, I like to um, to revert it, actually. I like to have CC11 on my first fader and CC1 or mod wheel on my second fader. Uh, fader. The reason is that unless you are left-handed, uh, your middle finger, uh, it's obviously uh, longer than your index finger. Well, that is true also if you are left but you know what I mean <laughs> in a second. And so you kind of, uh, you would use the, your left hand to uh, ride the faders. And in this circumstance, the uh, middle finger would naturally be longer than the first one. And I always like my expression to be higher than the mod wheel because it's just supposed to help uh, the smoothness of the movement a little bit. You don't need to, um, to ride it quite as dynamically as you would uh, the mod wheel. And actually in Poyese's cello, and in the advanced menu, you can change the behavior of uh, CC11 uh, over here on expression. You can move it from uh, dal niente, which means uh, that it would uh, actually uh, go to complete silence when at zero. There you go. Or uh, you can deselect it, which is actually my favorite setting, and it would always play a little bit uh, when going to zero. It's quiet, but it's there. Moving on on the different cross-fading curves. Uh, the first one, it's a particular one because it has a little bit of a, a dip in the middle position. So if you would try it on Sultasto to, from mezzo piano to forte that we just, just try, you'll, you'll notice that there is a clear moment where uh, the Moodle, uh, the, where the volume goes down. There you go, a little bit of a dip and goes up again, um, which it gives like a peculiar sound. And the uh, way I uh, love to use this is uh, with the motions. Basically, with the motions, let's say that you want to move from uh, Sultasto 1-4, so Sulta um, Sulta Sultasto quarter note to, uh, let's say, Sul Ponticello 1-8, uh, OK? And actually, uh, to try the difference, let us try first with the with the third cross fading curve. It's 
it's quite smooth. You hear that? A kind of gentle, gentle morphing. Uh, however, if you uh, use the first one, you'll see how they you can really hear uh, the two motions playing together at the central position. There you go. Which I personally think is very interesting. And it works really well if you want to do some sort of polyrhythm. For example, let's move to uh, triplets. I personally think that it's a very interesting sound. You probably noticed uh, that it's a subtle difference, but it can give, you know, like a completely different sound. And uh, what crossfading curve uh, to select depends very much on the context and on the sound that you want to uh, achieve. I really recommend that you experiment a little bit of those. I really hope this was useful. You can find Poyesa Cella at sonoracinematic.com. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.